All right, guys, I got another uh, Chrysler ECU in here. I uh, come in for, you guessed it, charging problems. And, uh, you know, I'm, I'm pretty sure it's bad, but I just want to do a quick check. And I'm going to use a curve tracer for that. Uh, I have this guy here. Really nice piece of equipment. It, uh, it actually has PC software that goes with it where you can you know take pictures of your board and you can set up automatic test points and all that and then you can go through and check test everything so you don't have to always have a comparable unit right beside you you know you can pre-record everything and check it which is a really nice feature but uh when i want to just do quick checks i really like i usually leave it hooked up to my uh, old tech here the old CRT tech, it, it looks really good on an old CRT scope, as does you know any other curb tracer. So typically, I leave it hooked up to this, and when I want to use it, I you know I turn it on and I briefly use it. I, I don't use this a whole lot, mostly for just stuff like this where I want to do a quick check, just to see if uh, it you know immediately reveals that it's bad. Like I don't have to wire anything up; I just have to do this. But uh, anyway. So let's compare uh, our output for the generator to some of the other outputs on this chip because these are the same. You should see the same result. So here is a good output switch, and we see it's like a little, uh, I don't know, a little corner of a box there. And there we have another one that's good. Now I'm going to probe the one for the charging. And we'll see that it, it's different. And it should not be different. It should be exactly the same as these. Okay. So we do know that that's bad. So then I guess we could check the uh, PC software. I can show you guys that. I guess you're probably more interested in, in that than my old scope there. But let me open that up here. Okay, so that's part of it. And then I'm going to open up. I have to load where the photos are. Now, I don't have a Cherokee one, I don't believe. So I, I'm just going to use my... Um, this one is for a Liberty. So this is a little bit different. This one's not 100% the same, but it's pretty close. Let me move this out the way. So this is the image for the software. And this is the actual tracing. Let's put this over there. Let me put this down here. Okay. So I need to load one more thing. I have to load the file for it. Okay, so now I've loaded it up. And this is just for this chip. Like if you look... Uh, I don't have it on the screen, but I have uh, files for different sections. Like I have uh, certain files just for the coils. I have files for the O2 sensors and the fuel injectors. And then I have uh, files just for like, some random test port stuff. And then I have, uh, you know, of course, files for this guy since he constantly goes bad. And that is the particular one I have loaded. So we have the four high side switches. We have all the low side switches and all the you know the smaller pins that go around that we can probe and uh, everything should match if it's good and uh, one thing that really useful about this after you solder it you can actually use this curve tracer or you know similar to go around the chip and actually see if you got you know all your soldering good or if any of them's got shorts or anything like that uh, so it's useful it's it's pretty useful but I mean, it's not it's not necessary, but it, it's it's nice to have. But anyway, let's go here and let's check our different ones. Okay, so you'll see the red line is the good trace. That's what it should look like. Right now, the yellow is what is there because I'm not probing anything. But uh, let's go to the switch number three. Okay, and if you look, that matches up. 
okay and then if we go to this one this one is not in use so this one is actually open and if you probe it you'll see that it's open and matches uh, and then we're going to go here to this one and you'll see it is completely different same thing that we saw on the old text scope uh, just I you know the computer application I guess makes it a little bit more fancy um, you know but just for a quick test you don't really need need it so fancy the old old scope is a little bit you know quicker to use honestly if it's already hooked up but okay that's the good one there on the other pin and uh, yeah it's definitely it's definitely bad that is the typical signature when it's bad but uh, yeah so that's definitely bad I'm gonna go ahead and clean this up and then we're gonna take it off of here okay, I'm gonna put some conformal coating remover on there don't always use that but it helps okay I'm just gonna use a soft wire brush here kind of scrape away and I'm gonna let this sit for a little while and then I'm gonna clean it away with alcohol. Okay, just gonna rinse it a little bit, brush it away. It smells a lot like um, Ace Tone or fingernail polish, whatever that conformal coating remover is. Let me uh, shut this down now. We don't need these anymore. Now, uh, the customer didn't report any other problems, so I really don't need to test anything else. I mostly just need to replace the uh, driver here for the charging system. And then after that is done, test it. Get some light on here. Okay, I'm gonna move my hot air into the way here. So we have our chip soldered on, and we're just going to give it a quick look with the uh, curve tracer here. So this is a good switch. This one was previously good, and it is still good. Uh, this one was previously open. It is still open. This one was previously good. It's still good. Now let's uh, check our uh, generator control here to see if... Uh, we have a good signal or if it's still bad and there we go we have a good signal as you can see it matches this other one here so that is good to go now these are the inputs so I'm going to just check those real quick and everything is looking good Okay, I'm going to check this guy while I'm here too.
uh, this is a different part and uh, the customer didn't say anything about it but I like to check this one anyway that was good that's what they normally look like okay so now the final thing I'm just gonna I'm just gonna let it uh, actuate I'm gonna let it actuate itself uh, with the scan tool and uh, make sure that the uh, test light comes on and then after that uh, we are pretty much done with this guy it's not much else to it okay so I think I'm already logged into the uh, scan tool here All right, and I had it uh, pulled up my VIN number here. Let's go into active test. Get my test light, and we need uh, alternator fuel duty cycle right there. Okay, I'm going to put this here. Uh, we can start with 10% uh, duty cycle, so it's going to be pretty dim. Uh, we can go up to 30. It's going to get a little brighter. And now we can go to 50, which will be even brighter. There we go. So that is all working properly.